Welcome to Mac and PC Prime Video, today I am showing. I have been seeing more and more videos on YouTube about CapCut software for the past few weeks and I was also interested in learning more about this software. I installed and tried this software. Very good as I want to share it with you. It is a very easy to edit wedding video. So let me show you how I did it. So CapCut is a free video editor for desktop or mobile. I downloaded it from my Mac. Going for is being a video editor for creators who are looking for something that doesn't have such a steep learning curve like Premiere Pro or Final Cut Pro. How you can enhance your face and body on Mac or PC. I'm not saying she needs it, but I'm just giving you an example on how you can do this for your videos. For instance, you're not wearing makeup on your video and you feel like you're not confident enough to post that without makeup. So we're just going to hit that enhanced button. You're going to take on the face and just going to zoom in a little bit here so you can see clearer. Here you can smoothen out the face, but she's already pretty, so I'm not going to do that. You can also brighten their face. You can whiten their teeth and you can also delete these my lines as well. You can also delete their dark circles. To add makeup, you're just going to check the facial beauty on. Here you can adjust the shape of it and also you can do it manually. If you scroll down a little bit, they'll show you makeup you have from these options. You can also add in eyelashes, for instance, if you don't want the rest of the makeup. You can also add in just the eyeshadow and not the eyelashes. You can also adjust the opacity of the makeup here. You can also add lipstick as well to it. Again, you can adjust the opacity of it. That is basically it. How you can add an animation, let me just, just the video a little bit. Okay. So, super simple. You're just going to click on the clip here for the animation and select an animation. For instance, you want to add in the swing bottom one. You can do that. If you want to add another animation to it, make sure you split the clip. For instance, I want to add in a combo animation in the middle. So I'm just going to split it here. And here, for instance, select the clip, go to combo, and choose the animation you want to add. For instance, like this one. You can also adjust a duration here too. And then on the last clip, I want to add in and out animation. So I'm just going to select out and I'm just going to choose like a zoom. Alright. And that can also adjust the duration. But you do have to split the clips to add more than one animation to your videos. So yeah, that is it for this video. There is also a wide selection of special effects and transitions such as trending, lens, star, spark, light effect, retro, nature, gillage, dark, split, comic, and so on. What these effects do is overlay your video with fresh elements that make it look like it was professionally edited. Within each of these categories, you'll find subcategories of effects, which means you can fine-tune your effects to get the exact one that's right for that video. Another great effect you can try is the blending effect, which allows you to overlay a video on top of another so the subjects merge with each other in the final output. Here's a great example of the blending effect in use. So now let's tweak the colors manually. You can do that here. Select the clip first and then go to adjustments here. In the basic tab, you can do the basic adjustments. I want it to look a bit warmer so I get more of that sunset vibe. So temperature, I'll drag it towards yellow. Maybe a bit more saturation also to make the colors pop and then a bit more contrast. Yeah. And maybe a tiny bit of illumination to emphasize that beautiful glow of the light. Okay, we're getting somewhere now. You can also sharpen or play around with the shadows and the highlights, add some vignettes, whatever you like. So it looks pretty good now, but let's take it one level up. And then the next step is adding sound effects. 
It's just that little extra to take your video to the next level. And I also added some birds and wind sounds throughout the whole sequence. You can do whatever you want. All you need to do is drop your sound effects on a new track under the music. And then you can play around with it until it sounds amazing. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and also subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that. If you have any questions, just leave it in the comment section down below and I will try my best to answer them all for you. Thank you so much for watching.